Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, again, I'm gonna give you some more new free plugins and they are very useful for your video editing. But before the start of today's video, please remember to just subscribe to this channel and like this video and just drop a comment to share support. I really, really love all your comments and just keep them coming. Basically, the plugin today, it's, you know, a titles plugin and you can use them on your videos to imitate those you know, video camera or phones. So without further ado, let's get started. So the link to download this pack, this LC camera pack is in the description box. You can just click the link and just download it from the Google Drive and if you need to unzip, just unzip the pack and after that, you have to copy this folder and go to Go, Home, Movies, Motion Template and just paste it in the Titles folder and that's all you need to do. Restart your Final Cut Pro, go to the Titles tab and find LC Camera. And after that, you can see four of them, four very useful templates over here and you can use them very easily. So let's move on to how to you apply them. Pretty simple. So I've already dragged one of them over here. So I'm going to delete this and drag a new one. So let's show you the video camera first. And just drag it over here to your timeline over your video. And as you can see that the numbers are you know kind of mixed up this is because the video clip needs to be rendered and on the other hand as you can see that the number starts around 14 seconds this is because the timeline is at 14 seconds so if you want to correct this time to the actual duration of this video pretty simple you can select both of them press option plus G to create a compound clip and then once you go here, you can see that the time is at the actual duration of the video clip. And let's jump into the compound clip by you know selecting it and double click. And once you go inside, you can click on this title and you can go to the titles inspector over here. And you can see that there are built-in guides recording, guideline skill. Yeah self-explanatory so a few very interesting features that I want to highlight to you first of all is the recording button so if you deselect this you can see that the numbers are gone the recording button is gone so everything is gone over here and that's the first feature I want to show you secondly there's a guideline feature over here this guideline is pretty self-explanatory if you want to increase the scale you can always do it like this and why is that so it's because I've included cinema scope 55 is around this scale and 3.1 is around this scale so you can change the guiding scales accordingly that's the original one 2.55 and I think it's pretty much suitable for almost all occasions and on the other hand, for iris, ISO, white bands, you can always change the numbers, you know, over here if you want to. And you can always include a camera shake, make it a maximum one. So once you play, yeah, this is like, sort of like a camera shake. And if you put it to none, it's not going to move. And lastly, at the start of this plugin, this titles plugin, there's a auto zoom kind of effect you know there's a defocus and refocus kind of effect to make it more realistic sort of and if you don't want to have this kind of effect you can always deselect built-in okay the second template that I wanted to show you is called phone recording and as usual you can always just drag it and apply on your timeline like this and once you hit play, the default one is with a build-in and a build-out effect. To show you better, I'm gonna cut it like this and hit play. Yep, you see the time is running and when it ends, this thing flashes at the end. It's kind of like a blink and if you want, you can always click on this drop zone and select say a frame of this video clip so at the end of this thing it just you know has a little blink and this thing supposed to stop but because i have not rendered this yet so this time it will still continue to run but 
the actual one, it will stop at the moment when I finished recording when, when this black bar appears again and obviously this is the horizontal one and if you want to have a vertical one you can always come to the titles inspector and change the horizontal to a vertical one and it's going to be exactly the same as the, the, the horizontal one uh, yep it's going to be exactly the same with a little bit of blink at the end as well and you can always go back to the original timeline and you know uh, change it to the position that you want for example for me the rotation is minus 90 degrees and the scale is around 56 and you can always change the x and y axis uh, if you want to you can always just drag the original clip out at the original uh, the, the, the main timeline paste it below and if you want you can always lower down the opacity like this and maybe change the position and scale it up a little bit like this and once you hit play it's going to look awesome something like that on the other hand there's a camera photo taking kind of a template so once you hit start it's going to flash two times last but not least there's another camera which is the phone one it's pretty much the same as the video recording one it's just with the blink three times and with a clip or a freeze frame applied on the drop zone and you hit play at the end of the build up process there's a small little blink over here as well hope you guys enjoyed this plugin and it took me quite a while to make these plugins so please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video just to drop a comment to show support or just you know, just to ask me questions see you next time bye bye